I I love these. I I need I don't know why I forgot to, I used to make these all the time. Welcome back to my kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, I'm Catherine, the Arrow Garden Homesteader, and today I am going to be making some marinated chicken. I am going to use some of the apricot jam that I made last year. Um, I did. I actually did an experiment that year where I did two different recipes, so definitely check that out if you're curious. I am marinating. Um, it's going to be like a kind of slightly Asian flair to it, so you know if that's what you like, those flavor profiles, you'll like this one. I'm marinating four chicken breasts. It calls for half a cup for two chicken breasts, so pretty much. I am doubling the recipe, and I'm just going to use this whole thing. Now, if you don't have a nifty stand for your uh, Ziploc bags, this works just fine, too. Okay, so I should probably do this in order, otherwise I will lose track of where I am. So I need honey. This honey is a little more liquidy than the other honey, so I'm going to go with this one. I need... Probably about five tablespoons, so that's quite a bit. It does have some vinegar in it, so it does have a bit of a sweet and sour taste to it. Okay, I'm going to call that five. Those are really generous. Leave that there. Okay, the, the recipe is kind of broken up into two sections, so the first section calls for onion powder over the chicken. I'm just going to put it in here. Let me see, it calls for about uh, two teaspoons, so... I'm going to call that good enough. It doesn't need to be exact. Okay, and what is next? Garlic and ginger. Get a new spoon. Okay, it actually calls for a lot of garlic. Seven cloves, so uh, I'm just going to go to town on it because I am doubling it. Okay, I'm going to call that good. And then it does call for ground ginger. Um, I'm just going to put fresh ginger in because I have it. So we'll go with that. probably about two inches if you're using the, uh, you know, an actual piece of fresh ginger. Then, oh, it did call for one and a half teaspoons. I will make sure to link the recipe below for the, the these marinades so you can follow along a little more easily. Okay, so I need three teaspoons of soy sauce, so that's going to be two tablespoons. Basically a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. And then salt and pepper. just says salt and pepper, so I don't know how much to put in. We will just guess. There we go. That's that. Let's see what the... That's, yeah, it just says salt and pepper. So I will put in at least a teaspoon, a very generous teaspoon of each, and go from there. I am going to marinate these overnight, and I will either grill them up or um, roast them in the oven. just depends on what the weather is going to do, because it's uh, kind of iffy out there today. But I am going to cook this up. This is one of those recipes, I, I like to take marinades and um, put the chicken in and then just put it right in the freezer. So it marinates as it freezes, it marinates as it thaws, and it makes a really nice product for whatever you want to do with it, honestly. Okay, so I got that all mixed up, that looks really nice, it actually smells really good. It's got a nice Asian, yeah, it's just really nice, it's a really nice recipe. It's not teriyaki but it kind of has that teriyaki flair to it. It's hard, hard to describe. So, okay. I have this as mixed up as it's going to get right now. So I have my chicken sitting on the side here. I just had some bone-in chicken, uh, the chickens, what do they call it? Split breast. So I deboned those so I can, well, I'm actually doing five of these. I deboned it so I can do some stock, and also we are doing some fajitas for dinner. Yeah, maybe I will save that last one, roll it into the fajitas. So. so I'm going to get this zipped up, mixed up, and then in the fridge so it can marinate. I am going to try to do a couple more, because it would be nice to just have one video with a whole bunch of recipes in it, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Okay, 
The next marinated chicken I am going to make is a teriyaki chicken and then I will also do a lemon garlic chicken. So I am going to get going. I need some of the ingredients I don't have. I will let you know what they are as I get to them, but I will not obviously be putting them in because I don't have them. I will also have to cut back on the amount of soy sauce I'm putting in, so this is a do as I say, not as I do, because uh, I'm not putting in enough. So I need two cloves of garlic. I am just going to make it directly in the bag. Each one will probably be slightly different. I don't care. It just happens. So that is that. Move that out of the way. Alright, we need a quarter sized slice of fresh garlic. Well, I'm using jarred garlic, so we're just going to guess. Make a mess. Of course, there you go. I do not have green onion, but it says to put in one whole green onion cut in half. I will obviously be skipping that. This is all of the soy sauce I have. I thought I had more, but you know what? I guess I don't. So we're going to start with a tablespoon in each one. See where I go from there. I'll probably put two in each one, but I'm just going to use up the rest of the soy sauce. It does call for a quarter of a cup, so I think I will get close, but not close enough. Yeah, not quite. All right. Well, good enough. Better make sure I put that on my list. Okay, it calls for dry sherry or cooking wine. I don't have that. I normally just put in water. I will put in water at the end and I will probably put in a little extra water. I do have, if you've got like ramen po packets or broth or something like that, you want something with a little more flavor, that is perfectly fine. I am just going to skip to the next one. I am going to put in the vegetable oil. It calls for two tablespoons of that. I'm just using just soup spoons. Calls for one tablespoon of spes calls for one tablespoon of sesame oil. Man. Now I don't want to put a ton of this in because I do find that so this is toasted sesame oil. I think it's toasted. Oh no, I guess it's not toasted. I find that sometimes it can be a little strong, especially if it's been toasted, so I definitely like to go a little on the light side. Okay, and then Let's just throw everything all over the place. Three tablespoons of honey. So that's what the clean spoon is supposed to be for. Now, my honey did crystallize. Doesn't affect anything. If you want liquidy honey, you can just melt it. It's best to melt it in a double boiler so you don't over melt it, but it works perfectly fine this way as well. And that finishes that off. Finally, it calls for half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I am just going to do a big three finger pinch because I think that will be close enough to half a teaspoon. That is everything. So I'm going to do a quick little cleanup so that I can uh, move these a little closer to me and then get the chicken in. So I just spent part of my afternoon deboning like five chickens because I wanted to get those out of the freezer. So I have they're still partially frozen. I've got the tender in there as well, but I'm going to put in two breasts and two thighs in each one. These can be grilled. They can just be roasted in the oven. You can cut the chicken up and fry it in a pan, sort of terry, um, what do you call it? Stir fry style. So it's pretty flexible. I like to freeze them. So they marinate as they freeze, they marinate as they thaw. It's just a, a win all around, honestly. Okay, that's that. And then this one. And when I seal these up, I will squish out as much air as I possibly can and make sure that the marinade gets all kind of mixed up. I forgot the water, but make sure the marinade is all mixed up and sort of in contact with all of the chicken. I'm going to get the water now before I forget. Okay. I'm going to put in a third of a cup of water to make up for the fact that I only put in three tablespoons of soy sauce. So this will give it a little extra liquid to account for that missing tablespoon. And hopefully that will give me good coverage. There you go. And then obviously it's just a matter of squishing everything together, mixing it all up. Trying to not make a mess. There you go. 
So that will just go in the, in the freezer. I like to kind of lay it flat so that all of the chicken is kind of easy to thaw. It's not all clumped together. So there we go. I'm going to do the rest of these and then do a quick cleanup. I will come back and we will do the lemon garlic pepper chicken. That one's really good. And finally, lemon garlic pepper chicken. I really like this one. I don't know why I stopped making these, honestly. They are so good. Okay, I think my... Yep. So it calls for... I am kind of doing the recipe backwards, but it doesn't really matter how you mix the ingredients. just thought I would start with the dry first, so I'm putting in a tablespoon of pepper. Two teaspoons of salt. I'm using kosher salt, but use whatever you have. I need four large cloves of garlic, which I am not sure I'm actually going to get out of this. Let's at least divide it up and see what we have. I guess we're just going with that. I'm doing two, but you should do four. And I have... better get my measuring cup back. Jeez. You should use fresh lemon juice if you have it, but I don't have it right now, so I'm just doing lemon juice from a bottle, which can be a little more astringent. I'm only going to put in a third of a cup because it can be really overpowering, but it does call for two thirds of a cup. And then a cup of olive oil. I am just using a regular vegetable oil, I'm just substituting like crazy. Sometimes that's just what it takes. And again, sort of the same thing with this. You can um, grill it, roast it, put it in the oven. Teriyaki chicken obviously tastes good with rice, but you could have it as a burger. The lemon garlic pepper chicken. Serve it with whatever you want, honestly, but I um, I think it tastes good with buttered pasta. Among other things, I mean, it tastes good just in general. Okay, so I am doing the same thing. I am going to put in two breasts, two thighs. That way everything gets used. Two thighs, and that is it. That takes care of pretty much almost my whole five chickens that I deboned. I'm gonna get these all squished up and in the freezer. It's that simple. If you buy chicken fresh from the store and you just process it immediately and throw it right in the freezer, you have paid it forward to your future self when it comes to meal prep because it, like really, it marinates while it freezes, it marinates while it thaws. It is so good. And it makes prepping, like meal prepping ahead of time so much nicer. I really need to start doing this more often. They're so good. I will have the recipes linked below, so make sure you check. I will try to put it as a pinned comment, but it will definitely be in the show notes if I haven't pinned the comment right away. So make sure you check those out, and let me know how you like them. If you try them, let me know. I I love these. I, I, need, I don't know why I forgot. To, I used to make these all the time. But we're getting back on that train, because they are good. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. I will have some videos up at the end that you might enjoy, and I will see you next time on the Arrow Garden Homestead.